Good morning fish people, it is Sunday the 7th of April and I've just arrived at Hayfield Lakes for the Carper Final. I fished at Decoy yesterday in the Feeder Masters uh, first qualifier. It was blowing an absolute hooli, but it was 19 degrees, it was warm. Wasn't too bad. Tested your casting ability for sure. Today, <laughs> 47 mile an hour winds that storm something or other. <clears throat> That's going to rule a bit of pole fishing out, isn't it? I'll see where we get drawn, mind. I'd like to fish short pole in this, but we'll we'll see. I think that's definitely going to be one of the lines, but yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Really does rely on draw today. I think you need a good draw to have a to have half a chance. There are plenty of prizes. I think it's a thousand quid for winner, and it's like eight hundred quid. I don't know, it could be six, four, two, and then sections. I don't know how much is in sections, I don't know how that goes. The way that the Carper final works, all year we've been fishing on two lakes, we've been fishing on Island and Adams. If you win the Adams, the two Adams together, um, you win that particular lake and you get a first prize. On Island, if you win that uh, lake, we've, we've been, if you take first prize on, um, on Island Lake and it's working exactly the same for the final so if you want to become a carper champion you have to win the lake that you draw so if you win Island you're carper champion there if you win Adams you're carper champion for that particular one and I think it's a great way of doing it splitting it because sometimes one lake can fish ten times better than other and there's only one lake that gets all the prizes I know you're saying it's yeah well that's just the look of the draw I just think it's great that the way they split it up. Lots of prizes, lots of chances, <clears throat> but it ain't easy. Some cracking anglers. And there are plenty of anglers here that fish it week in, week out. <clears throat> yes, I've fished it 10 times this year. Um, I've not particularly drawn well for the first half of the season, but I've not been doing too bad in the last couple. So, you know, second last week, I'm not going to say I'll take second this week, it's got to be first, you want to win it don't you? So really looking forward to it, I'm not sure where, Ireland's been in form, mainly all on the feeder, um, I'm not sure where I want to get to, I quite like Adams me, I'd like to get on Adams, uh, this wind, <clears throat> you don't particularly want the wind in your face because of the how uncomfortable it is, but I'd take it today because it's been warm for a while so you tend to think the fish are going to follow the warmer wind it's a southerly wind so <clears throat> yeah really looking forward to it um my mate jace jago's just turned up he's been praying to the fishing gods for it to be blowing a hooli jace your wish has come true he'll be absolutely cool. in fact he's, he's just turned up here jace jason here look. Hi. So he has been, you've heard what I've just said, he has been praying to the fishing gods for <laughs> what kind of weather? 47 mile an hour winds. And has it come true? Yeah. Happy as Larry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. He can blow more if it wants to, you know. Absolutely fantastic. So what do you think? It's gonna be a good day. There's plenty uh, of prizes in it with it being over two legs. Like, so yeah, yeah. So About thousand pounds to the winner, eight hundred second. And the it's trophy like paying been... top I think twenty two on each leg. Yeah. And they're paying eleven. So with the four sections. So absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so you know, but Sounds easy, that to get a prize, but it, it ain't. Does, no, it's not easy. You've still got a draw. Yeah. On Ireland, I'd pretty much take anything, yeah. really. It's yeah. really good, but Adams would be a little bit dodgy with her. Yeah. Fish being big, but low pressure, 1,002, blowing like anything. <laughs> it's, how it's excited, any, how excited yeah, yeah, yeah. is that face? It, it could have it could <laughs> turned in mine and Andy Kinder's favour. Oh, but we not will Andy see. Kid. We will see. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's exactly pretty much what I've just said. We're all looking forward to it. Yep. Didn't sleep last night, Jace, did we? I, I didn't sleep, man. Oh, there it, you it, go. It was, just like yeah. me. The wind kept me awake. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. just like, with a big smile on my face. <laughs> so there you go. It's in the hands of the fishing gods as, far, as to where you get drawn. He's not bothered where he gets. He'd be no. happy on Ireland, I think. Yeah. I think I'd be happy with wind in my face on Adams, but 
we'll see we'll see how it goes right so we'll see you guys at the draw really looking forward to it and we'll see where we get drawn and good Have luck good jace luck. good luck Alan. cheers pal Yeah, oh look, here we are, you see, bag up TV, just watch yourself and you can see what's what. Yeah. Come on. Stuck together. Let's have a look, let's get in. 41 Island. 41 Island. And now, are you happy with that, Alan? Today? Quite happy with that, yeah. Shallow water up there. Alan, is the beauty angle. Let's see if we can catch one or two. Giving your own channel a vlog there. There you go. That's all I'm looking at. Testing, 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 somebody's been messing with the camera. Right, all set up, I'm casting, I've just dropped it in short, just have a look. Bloody camera's been playing up, don't know what's going off, I can't read, I can't play back what I want to do. Something not right, but anyway. I'll record this, we'll do as best, so we're on peg, 41, got Brian Sullivan at the side of me. He's just gone out onto that bar and he's catching. That's where I'll be going next. I just thought I'd have a look. You can sometimes pick a big fish up short. No tactics. I'm going to be feed short. As you can see, it doesn't look bad here, but it's absolutely, if you just look at trees, it's blowing an absolute holy. There's a couple of stick ups up there. That's a shallow bar. You've got like a second and a half counter, so maybe two seconds at most. You've got three and four seconds down here, so it just shows you it's shallow. Brian's chucking over, that's where he's catching at a minute. That's my next point of call. Uh, be just method. And bomb today I'm going to be using. I've not bothered with waggler, too much movement. We'll be towing like hell. Um, pellets on these two platforms. And uh, I'll be chucking a method down there as well. It has one matches doing exactly what I'm going to do today as that as simple simple as that and I'm going to stick to that I think uh, these winds even though it's windy now it's going to get stronger so there's some lads set pole up and what have you yeah he's right on the bar he's bright um, baits wise it's just micros a couple of different pellets corn wafters and that's it I have got some ground bait if I wanted to put if I were going to use the pole maybe on Adams or something like that but um, there we go. Let me uh, get out to that bar. That looks like where the fish are at the minute. So we'll see you guys during the match. Well, Brian's had about four or five. I've not had a sign. Third cast in. It's gone round at last. Oh, we're going to need to wonder if there are any fish there. <laughs> that one team long it were in two minutes. It's not the biggest, but at least we've got a fish. Oh, it's a bit bigger than I thought, that. I mean, 
can hear that wind, but it's half blowing now. That's a good idea, I'll take that. Yeah, that three pound. So we're off the mark. It didn't drag it round, it was a little tug forward and then uh, a drop back. Well, we're an hour in and all I've been catching is skimmers. I've been changing all different wafters. I thought there's got to be something better fish turn up short. They've been about eight ounce a piece. I've been getting one every chuck. But then you're not going to win out with them today. Anyway, I've gone on to a white wafter and it's gone round after a minute and it's definitely a carp. Thank goodness, because I was getting a bit fed up of <laughs> catching up them skimmers. Need carp today to win. I've been catching carp to my right on a chuck. Man, every chuck I've had it's been skimmers. It's frustrating as anything that. I think this could be my biggest fish of the day, hopefully. Massive one, but it's certainly my biggest fish today. I can just tell. plus today I think and I've got about five or six oh you bloody thing not bothered not bothered at all that would have more than doubled my weight I think well that's the first hook pull I've had in a while I've been on a really good run for not losing fish Apart from snags, I got stuck in a couple of snags yesterday, but that's the first fish I've lost in a long time, and it had to be <laughs> the biggest of the day. <laughs> Not bothered. God's sake. Not bothered at all. No, don't let it bother you in a final, that losing fish. Especially the best ones, the best one a day. <laughs> God's sake. You can't write it, can you? You just cannot write it. Oh, dear me, folks, dear me. Nobody likes to see that. Nobody. I'm going to get a few down. That's the platform. first lot <laughs> you can't see blue well they just, just shot out so I aimed a little bit more left they stayed perfectly straight exactly where I was aiming and I don't know how this is gusts isn't it 
I want miles off of that one, but I'm going to put another pouch down just in case. Let me get it. Okay, that's dropped a bit. That's better. Oh, dearie me. Right. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one. I'll land that. Oh, it's come funny out there. No bites, last three casts. So I've just chucked to the pallet where I've been putting pellets. It's gone round after 40 seconds. See if we can get this one in. That was a better fish. Challenge holding your landing net in this wind. Come on, get your head up. Coming in now. It's certainly scrapping well. about four but five pounds maybe so let's get back out there still can't so, oh. oh I thought that was going to go there's certainly an indication not sure whether I've just been done there or not but we'll leave it there's fish there for certain got ya I think that little jab, I think that was on. Because that just pulled around slow like it was still looking for some more food. Long, didn't it? Um, chance to put my timer on there. I feel it's about the same size. Could be wrong. It's just not as angry. Oh, yeah, well, them weeds. Let's go with these weeds here. Same sort of size. Four pound ish. 
probably a bit more. Four and a half. And there we go, all set. And we're in, we're in again. lost that then, it's just decided to turn the swim towards me. Just as you think it's giving up, it decides to scrap again. I hate it when it wraps around its fins. Come on son, show your face. from my nets. Right, a bit bigger. Nice one. Just a tad bigger. Five plus I'm giving him. I had another couple out there. I'm up to 31 pound now. Um, I've just gone over my pellet line at about 13 or 14 metres. One or two little liners, but it ain't gone round yet. And bites have definitely slowed down for everybody, I think. Um, but I'm still, that's nowhere near. There'll be £100 somewhere on this lake. I've just got to hope, have another good run down here, a really good run. It would have been nice to have sort of 50 or 60 pound going into this last hour, but I ain't. Um, Brian's been back out there, had a few small ones. I need some of them bigger ones to get the weight up. Had a little look down here, skimmer. Short. I have two pallets to try. I'm going to try this short one. I'm just giving that one a little bit of a rest. And there's still fish there because I will get in the odd liner. I think we're just getting a bit spooky, so give that a bit of a rest. Have another look somewhere else and I'll go back. And I've put about six pouches of pellets all together over the last sort of 20 minutes. Just keep feeding it, give them a bit of confidence and I'll go back over it. And again, the same with this pallet nearest to me. So, I just keep getting this at 13 metres. It's, it looks very similar to when I were out there, as if there's a lot of small ones knocking about. Oh, I was really hoping to have a really good run out there along and on that bar. But it's just not just not been right. Like I said, I was a bit unlucky with three fish, but that's gone now. Let's just hope. Right, what have we got? Oh yeah, 50 minutes now, so I've got to go back down there, have a look, see if we can get some uh, decent edge fish out. Right, over out. It's gone round after three minutes. I'm back to that other platform. It's not a big monitor, but it's okay. Better than nothing. Oh, that net. Oh, yeah, I'm not this time. 
loads of liners as well before, so there's definitely some fish there. Let's just see if we can get a few more. It'll be about three pound ish. I thought I saw a sign of a fish. I might be wrong, but I've come to the back at pallet and it's gone round after 30 seconds. There's like an half decent fish. Sunshine, rain, wind. Had a lot today. And I tell you what, it's played really funny. Three or four times I thought I'd lost it. I don't know if it's shaking its head or what it's doing, but it's been really weird. Apparently the guy opposite me has been catching really, really well. I heard somebody say there's that many fish in York Bay. Yeah, he must have been he must have done well. Another one, I've just seen him land one. Come on, come on. He didn't want to come up, did he? Twisting and turning there. And again. This time. This time. Remember to put in your middle net, Alan. Remember to put in your middle net. So what we'll do 
people. We've got about 20 minutes left. We'll probably see you guys at the weigh-in. Let's see if I can just get a few more towards the end. I think I've got 44 pound-ish, something like that. It's not, I don't think that's gonna win anything not from what I've seen. But well, you never know. You just never know, folks. You just never know. Right. See you guys at the way in then, eh? Yeah, 20 minutes left.
Wow, what a windy day that was. Right, that's the carper over. What a mega, mega windy day that was. Same for everybody, but there's been a lot of fish caught. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. Um, very frustrating first couple of hours, hardly anything in the net. I know, chucking to them stick ups, the pipes, shallower water, you can absolutely empty it there on its day. And it became, I started short, became evident when I was to my right they were catching on that same bar but closer to the island. Only thing I could get was skimmers and small carp. Um, I've lost three from there though as well. The only three decent fish I hooked, I've lost. One snapped me on those pipes I think or something, hooked and snapped. Felt it grating, then it had gone. And then I've lost two, just as I'm ready to start lifting it up and the hook's just pulled out, no reason. I've had a really good run not having hook pulls. I've had four today. Um, three were good fish, one was just mediocre sized fish. But they've cost me, they have definitely cost me. Um, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've ended up weighing, I've ended up, you saw where I was baiting up, I was baiting just in front of me, I just had skimmers there, sharp, just skimmers, and then to my left of the pallets, two pallets. I had roach on the first pallet, and then I had some nice fish on the second pallet. And that's where I've built a little bit of weight up. I've ended up weighing 64 pounds 12, I think it was. Yeah, something like that. I'll put the results up. 64, 12, 64, 14. I've only recorded the uh, first, second, third, you know, the places. So, it was to my surprise, my 64 pounds something has actually won me the section. So, I've ended up with 125 quid. Get in! Result! So... And those, and that just proves those fish have cost me a place. How I up, I'm not quite sure. I haven't worked yet. I mean, we don't really know how heavy, how heavy they were, but it's definitely cost me a place and a little bit more money. But can't complain. I've got a section. That's what happens in fishing. You just get on with it, move on to the next one. But Brian Sullivan's had 80 odd pounds to my right, and then it's been 70s. I think there were another one about 80 all the way down our bank. On the other bank, Cookie on peg three where the wind were blowing down has ended up catching his edge in the end. He's had 90 pound or something. In fact, have we got the weights? So I'll see if I've got it on here. And our carper champion on Island Lake is Paul Unwin. Yet, oh no, Steve Cook actually. I heard he got 90, 139 pound cookies. Had he's been catching one a bung right at the end in the margin. So well done, Cookie. What a mighty fisherman you are. But the overall carper champion on Island Lake is Paul and Wynn with £149. He was smack opposite me and he just seemed to be, well, slightly to that, he just seemed to be catching one a bung there. I looked like a fish method and bomb to me. Um, and on the Adams, I fancied, I really fancied, I told Cleggy this morning, Peg 33 on Adams, I really fancied that with this wind and he said, I do and he's drawn it and he's the specialist here and he's had a hundred and fifty two pounds and he's the Adams Lake Carpet Champion so well done um, well done Steve Clegg you are this year's mightiest Carpet Champion well done son <laughs> so that's about it Andy Kinder came second with 111. You'll, you'll have seen the video and everything, or you can watch the video, I don't know which order Ed, Ed is going to put it in, but it's been a great series. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a couple of little bits of money coming here, there, and every bits, a few sections, a second place, and then a nice section there. So, can't complain too much. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I'll be back for, uh, for more next year, see if it can go a little bit better. So, I hope you've enjoyed the series of matches that I've had here at Hayfield Lakes. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you have. Um, it's a great place to come to and catch some carp. You can't go wrong. Nice. It's easy fishing. It's nice fishing. If you just want to fish a method and bomb, fine. If you want to fish wagner, fine. If you want to slap a pole, fine. If you want to do short pole, fine. It's brilliant. So get yourself down to Hayfield Lakes and do a bit of fishing. Right, there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly have. What have I got next? It's fishing mania for me at Lindome. I best get a day's practice in there. I'm guessing it'll all be shallow fishing. So that'll be it for me on Saturday. Don't forget folks, it is absolutely free to subscribe to my channel. If you click that notification bell, you will get all our videos as we upload them and a thumbs up. Come on, monkey. Stop looking away. 
Yay! We'll be very, very nice. So until next time, folks, we'll see you on the banks at Lindome Lakes. Take care and don't forget to fish on.